it's her way. If if you don't eat until you explode, she kicks you out of the house. Okay, here we go. Let's get going. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, we're going with the rosary first. Okay. And now, it's... Should I hear it with it kind of dangling back here or all the way down? Uh, I'll leave that up to you. But what you need to say is thank you, Cardinal Sin. Please, may I have another? Sin. Yep, Cardinal Sin. Thank you. Thank you, Cardinal Sin. May I have another? Yes. Yes, we do. Are we recording? I am, yes. Um... Oh, okay. You can do that. You can get the record <laughs> thing. I don't know how to do it. Whatever. You guys do it. Okay, no, so. No, you have to do it. You have to hit I button. have to do it? Okay. Look under. Okay. Underneath there should the be a button that says record. Yes. Oh, ah, okay. So I just have to press that and. Yes. Live. Yep. And then what do I do with it? Does it just stay on here? Yes. It, it will record, record until it runs out. Mm hmm. So hit record and let's get going. Okay, I'll record then. All right. Uh, should I so explain to the world what we're doing? You can do that while you're while you're spanking yourself. That will okay. that will add I, to the humiliation. I have to spank myself for this wonderful room. I mm -hmm. have to my well. All right, let's, we have to be able to get my ass in the shot. That's yeah. perfect. That's perfect. I'm know. I'm blocking the chair. That's that's just oh, yeah. That's great. Yep. That's it should right there. Should I get rid of Satan? I would, in, in my opinion, yes. Okay. Bye, Satan, for a second. <laughs> there you go. See, that way it's just you in the shot. Now, this is a crappy chair to have in the shot, huh? All right. All right, so what did, what did you want me to say for this one? Uh, thank you, Cardinal Sin. Please, may I have another? May I have another? Yes. All right. Thank you, Cardinal. Whoa, I can't do this. I... I'm a horrible spanker. How do you spank with this thing? Just give it your best shot. Thank you, Cardinal Sin. May I have another? Yep. Knock yourself out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you have the wooden spoon for Cabby. Mm -hmm. Leave the rosary on. What am I saying for this one? Now, you want to say, thank you, Happy Cabby. May I have another? And then you need to wait for me to... Respond, because uh, the with, with the with the with the thing you were doing it too quickly. Okay, so we, I, there needs to be responses. Yes. Okay. So give yourself a good whack and say thank you, happy cabby. May I have another? Thank you, happy cabby. May I have another? Yes. <laughs> ah, those are the responses you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Okay, who else was it? What other objects? Um. Father Graceful has the bottle. The bottle who? Father Graceful. Father Graceful. Yeah. Now what she to, what she got to Thank say? You, Father Graceful, may I have another? Is that what I'm doing? No, it's up to VG. Okay. What what? What do you want yeah, her to say? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yes. Talking to be creative. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, you can beg for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank for your mercy, Father Graceful. <laughs> Perfect. I like that. <laughs> if I can try to get through this without laughing, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Father Graceful. <laughs> 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 Phantom Lion just there wants is, you to say uh, goodnight first. There is a person who likes my ass. That's wonderful. Uh, that would be me. <laughs> uh, I think that would be all of us. Say goodnight to him. Night. All right, so what am I saying for this one again? You're begging, beg Father. For your mercy, Father Graceful. I beg for your mercy, Father. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Okay. Probably because you don't really want him to be merciful. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. I 
beg for your mercy, Father Graceful. You have my mercy, my daughter. <laughs> okay. Your viewer nice. count, your viewer count, shot up by double. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, classic. What's next? Um, I, think the, I think the sandal. The sandal. Oh, yes. Who had the sandal? Oh, oh, uh, that oh, was Dar. that was Dar, yes. Dar? Okay, nice. Well, how, how do I act enticing towards a homosexual man? You'll have to get that instruction from Dar. How, yeah, Dar, do, how do you want her to discipline? Really deep voice and say, Thank you, Dar, may I have another one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Dar, is that okay? Is that... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing. I can't either. This is okay. your discipline, Dar. What well, are the instructions? The phantom line. <laughs> Okay. You have to ask Phantom Lion. Um, okay, Phantom Lion, what, what should, deep voice? Should I do deep voice for Dar? No? Yes? Okay, I'm just going to do it then. <laughs> I'm going to go deep voice. <laughs> Is it just the thank you, uh, thank you, Dar? What, what, what am I saying? Just say, do you want to get on a broke back mountain with me? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody bring up that friggin' movie. Because it's awesome. <laughs> I refuse to watch it. All right, ready? I just can't quit you. Oh, I, I think that's what I'm going to say. That's great. I can't quit you in a deep voice? Yeah. All right, bye. All right. There you go. I can't quit you. Yes, you can. <laughs> 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 oh, epic. <goodness>. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that you were quitting yet, Faye. <laughs> Keep that up until I what tell you. What was the other object that we were supposed to do? Spatula. The spatula, uh, yeah, yes. That's mine. Okay, what, what am I doing? I'd, I'd like you to say thank you for teaching me to be a good agnostic, no faith, no pain. <laughs> okay. Thank you for teaching me to be a good agnostic, no faith, no pain. Okay. <laughs> uh, Repeat after me. Thank you for <laughs> teaching me. Okay, I got it, I got it. Thank you for teaching me to be a good agnostic, no faith, no pain. You're most welcome. Carry on. <laughs> and now look at look into talking when you guys respond. It's no good. Now look into the camera. Mm -hmm. Have you learned your lesson? No. You uh, have not. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> then you're gonna have to stand in the corner. Mm. Yeah. Like a bad girl that you are. I'm surprised that you guys did not tell her to do it all over again. Well, I was thinking about it. <laughs> you guys are silly. No. Because it's go just going to get better. And, uh, click the button that says stop recording. All right. And it'll give you a prompt on the screen to save it and title it. All right. So, what's the title, everybody? <coughs> Please, Father Graceful, may I have another? Yeah. Letter? No, actually, Father Graceful was. Father Graceful, please have mercy. And for Dara, I used a deep voice and talked about... <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> so, basically, basically, uh, basically, Kate needs to actually come up with your line. Yes, yeah. she what, does. What do you want her to say as she's saying, Muffin paper, muffin paper. Sweet. There we go. There we go. So then it would be. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, that is such a triple pawn. <laughs> okay. Uh, to, uh, <laughs> it'd be, it'd be muffin diver, muffin diver. May I please have some more? Okay. Um, 
Are we filming this again? I'm so filming already. A special one just for Bionic Dance. Yeah, I'm okay. filming it already. Well, it's for me too. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Just muffin diver, muffin diver. <laughs> All right. I'll start. And I will upload it unlisted for you, Kate. Let's get the chair set up. <laughs> okay. I, I, I laugh when this happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you laugh this time, you've got to do it again. Okay. That's true. I know. I need to. I need to stop. Okay. Ready? <clears throat> muffin diver. Muffin diver. <laughs> I mm. oh, goodness. Got to do it again. <laughs> Does it for me? <laughs> So stupid. Faith, do you feel satisfied? Yep. Well, Fake an orgasm. Can't do that, Bionic. That's true. She knows about my Monty Python or Monty Python. What I'm talking about. My uh, Dark Matter twenty five twenty five. Uh, basically, we are oh, teaching Shayra some matters. Matter. Yes, I am a naughty naughty girl. No, yeah. um, Rocky Horror. Yes, the Rocky Horror Fake Orgasm. Yeah, that's what Kate wants you to do for muffing it up by laughing. Alright, I, I can actually do that. Do you guys want to hear the yep. orgasm? Most women cannot do yep, can we'll do that. Screen. You can get a request if you can speak up. Now, um, is it possible if I do a fake orgasm, could you do it, Kate? At the same I know time. I can. <laughs> well, what we what we need to do for that is get uh, Kate back onto blog T onto uh, onto Skype. <clears throat> I say what we do is we all take turns. <laughs> no. no. Okay, you can do the real thing too, Kate. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to do it on Skype. Just keep watching my spanking myself with the muffin tone. Over over. Yeah. <laughs> Now, for for example, I'll I'll I'll, I'll lead the way. Okay. <clears throat> now, patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. No. Patty cake. <laughs> patty cake. <laughs> oh, patty cake. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> awesome. That is the creepiest thing I've ever heard in the movie. I actually did that with um, a chick uh, shortly after the movie. Can I point something Rabbit. out? Yes. Since you got Dark Matter 2525 in your room, I think you should do a spanking for him. Yeah. Oh, Dark Matter, do you want a spanking? Do you, do you want me to spank myself for you? Okay, what object? What object am I spanking myself? You talked me into it. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, said. He already said. What did he say? I didn't see. Uh, thumbs up for her to spank herself. Self. With an I, I love the Beatles T-shirt. Oh, you just want the T-shirt <laughs> off. <laughs> there you go. What if I had an extra? You know. Okay, here's 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 one that you could try. What about one of your Bibles? <laughs> oh, would you like oh. me to do with the Bible, Dark? All right. Um, I have lots of choices. Um, let's see. These are the. I have this one. I don't know if you can see. It's super bright. Sorry. No, that, that one's too big. You wouldn't be able to get a good swing okay, on well, it. This one is definitely soft. Do you, ha do you have one that's a soft cover? Um, yes, I have a couple. I have tons of Bibles. Um, okay. Something have, like that would cover, be ideal. We'll get a more I have this too. What about this one? God's Word. Holy Bible. Yeah, um, the, the, the blue one. Yeah, the blue one. Alright. I also have this one. Mm -hmm. No, the blue one so far. Blue one? Oh, hey, um, Shayra. Yes. The, the light that's behind your, your computer desk, is there a way that you could, like, turn it? 
uh, some way to get the glare away. Yeah, I actually have turned it away. It's just a naughty, naughty lamp. Right. You might need so to give yourself a spanking for the lamp. Yes, actually, dark can... matter. You have to pick pick what she says. That better too. See, mm -hmm. that's right. better. What am I saying for you, dark? You can always quote the Bible and say, "Spare the rod, spoil the child." Ooh, Ooh <laughs> like it. <laughs> oh, Lordy. You're such a bad. You person. like it? Okay, spare the rod, spoil the child. There you go. All right. Only uh, spare the rod, spoil the Shayra. Oh yes. Spare the rod, spoil the Shayra. <laughs> Why do I keep laughing whenever this pops up? Okay. Spare the rod, spoil the Shayra. That is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are still on this? Oh, we are. I'm not looking at your ass all this. <laughs> you have missed some of the hottest blog TV this year, Aldous. Oh, I disagree. I'm oh, boy. There is nothing hot about feet. <laughs> Oh, Look at what you guys get me to do. I do owe her a fake orgasm, but it would be fun if I wasn't the only one who had to do it. Hey, listen, I did one, but you didn't uh, participate. I don't. But... I was there doing... we go. Yeah, let's let's. Rabbit, by the way. There we go. Happy. Rabbit orgasm. Happy. Can you guess what? You get to have two. Shara, you can always co-host. Yeah, ideas. you can do it again. <laughs> um, are you looking all fine, Bionic Dance? Mm-hmm. Bring it around. All right, well, I can tell when I'm not welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're a bit rumpled. Mm. You rumple a bunch of people at the club? Why isn't she on Skype anyway? Yeah. Well, I would have invited her, but I, I haven't got her on my list. A sedate night? That's no fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, listen, folks, I've really got to go because my housekeeper's just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone daylight. I was supposed to go to bed hours ago. What is going on? I know. Hey, well, ask your housekeeper if, if they want her to spank herself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. no, I'm sorry, I really can't. Uh, but Shaver, don't you have Bionic on I'll see you later. now? I, I know. don't know if I have her on there. I don't I don't think so. I think someone else did and added her to the call. Bionic, is it okay if I call you up on Skype or add you to the call? All right, someone call her. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Yeah, you have to tell us about your not sedate butt night. The butt bags, the punching bags are like a speed bag. Oh yeah. This one is both just dangling in your face, except it's squishy. <laughs> Was it life threatening though? Could have been. We were both drunk. Could you breathe? Barely. Mm, see, that's yeah. never fun. See, that's 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 not good. Yeah. So as I say, there is such a, a thing as too large. Oh yes. Yeah. We. Yeah. 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 We, yeah, yeah, we concur on that one. We've actually uh, found some examples. Think cantaloupe and pantyhose <laughs> is not good. <laughs> and I spent myself with a muffin tin, and you missed it all. <laughs> but Joel, it's actually recorded, so you get to catch up yes, afterwards. Recorded. So you can see the insanity. Oh. Yeah, we, we, we taught her some manners. Yeah, we had you back. I think you should co-host Dark Matter 2525. Do you want to be a co-host Dark Matter? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Oh, actually, Joel could do a good Bueller. Could you do the Ben Stein impression for the people? <coughs> Please. Five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> He's got such a Ben Stein voice, it's hilarious. It's not really talkily right now. What's talkily? <laughs> Is that even a word? That's talky. 
Talky. Talky. I'm not real talky right now. We need Bionic talkie. Dance to do her talky. Yeah, BD, were you were you always raised in uh, around the area that you live now, or did you live in like South Jersey for a while? No, actually, um, until I was about nineteen, I lived in Vermont. That still doesn't explain it. Uh -uh. What? Explain what? You have a random, occasionally when you're doing your videos, you'll get an accent kind of. Oh, that. Yeah, um, my dad's side of the family is Italian, oh, and my dad grew up in New York. Ah. Uh, there you go. Because uh, there's like this occasional accent that comes out, and it's like, whoa, wait, what? It's more like yeah. the borderline of the Hey, what are you doing over here? Yeah. yeah exactly. That's the one. That's pretty much the borderline of New York and New Jersey. I. Just I also have um, relatives from New Jersey, so... Yeah, because the first time I was watching one of your videos, I kind of thought you'd escaped from New York. <laughs> she ran away. Wait, 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 escaped from New York? What, am I Kurt Russell? <laughs> <laughs> no, at least escape from New York was the good one. The true. True. The Let's pray. The other one, I, I really try hard to forget. Even if it even though did have Bruce Campbell in it, it was still terrible. Yes, it was terrible. <laughs> I like Bruce Campbell. It's <laughs> for a good laugh, right? You know what it was? It, it was Dennis Rodman. Whatever Dennis Rodman is in or was in, I found just, I didn't like it. Well, yeah. uh, even that episode of Third Rock from the Sun. Oh, yeah. I love that show. Although I could believe that he was an alien. I could easily believe that he was an alien. Definitely. Oh, without a doubt. Freak. <laughs> now, William Shatner, I don't know. That's a question mark. Oh, I hate him. Yeah, I've, I've heard about what is What is your deal with Shatner? He's Shatner. He's Shatner. <laughs> she probably hates him for those same reasons I do. Could be. But my mom used to love him. Now, I, I always imagined you as a, as a Trekkie. Well, that's the thing. Um, I grew up on Star Wars, right? I mean, I, um, I was a year and a half old when the first movie was released. I grew up around it. Right. But, uh, but I mean, that said, for a long time I tried. Tried like hell to like Star Trek and just could not do it. And recently I've found Trek I do like, but it seems like the further we get from Shatner, the more I like it. Mm. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Loved Voyager. Thought Voyager was wonderful. Love Voyager. The first two seasons of Enterprise were really good, and the next two seasons were all right, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I love it, uh, First Contact. Movie First Contact. Yeah, good movie. Um, not so much with the the Next Generation though. I mean, I, I what? the thing I don't like about Next Generation is it feels like most of the characters are archetypes rather than people. If you know. Well, you see, like it, they were kind of starting almost over again, and the first couple of seasons of it, I can understand. Yeah. Like I was raised on Star Trek TNG, and I love it. That's what makes me a tracking. Mm. Uh, um. Well, next generation, uh, Gene Roddenberry was still alive. Well, and that's very much that. in charge. After his death, Star Trek did change a lot. And I think that's, yes, you know, what uh, you might like about some of the other incarnations. Well, while that's true, uh, at the same time, I thought the, uh, the stories were better in the earlier seasons of The Next Generation uh, because they did more exploring and less... Uh, transporting delegates from peace conferences and shit. That's true. That's they very true. More adventure yes. stuff. I will say I hated Deep Space Nine with the White Hot Yeah. Guns. I understand that. You know what bothered me about Deep Space Nine? And maybe I'm just a weirdo. The Dominion War? <laughs> I didn't like all the ear fetish stuff from, I forgot what the name of the alien is, but... The Bajorans. Yeah, I... Oh, just, the Ferengi. No, the Bajorans. The Bajorans, yeah. Ugh. I thought it was the Ferengi who had the ear fetish. Ferengi had the ear fetish. Well, the, the, they I did, but the, the Bajorans had, that, had the ear rings. Yeah, but that's right. not the they fetish, really. The ear too. Yeah. Um, but uh, also, I, I realize to most Trekkies this is a travesty, but I absolutely loved the new movie as well. I loved the no, movie, too. Me, too. 
Yeah, no, so did I. I. I didn't actually notice this the first few times I watched it, but I was working on some animation stuff, and I had the movie on in the background, and for some reason it just percolated through my head how often Kirk got his ass thoroughly kicked in that movie. I mean, he was beat <laughs> up a lot in that. That's why you liked it. Yeah, oh, maybe. Yeah, you see, that's that's that was that was taking out um, that was taking out retro retro. Um, Oh, help me out, cauliflowers. Cauliflower. Yeah. Retro Vengeance on Shatner. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, like with the new movie, I thought that they actually did a really good job. I liked that movie a lot. So, yeah. and I know a lot of people got mad at me for saying it, but I don't care. It was good. So. Well, yeah, I don't care if people get mad at me for saying it as well, because because I actually grew up with Shatner. But about halfway through the movie, I was like, oh, shit, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Don't you hate that? I know, yeah. Dark so, Matter, do you have but, Skype? Yes, yes, Skype. But I, I, I like a lot of different sci-fi. My, my earlier dislike of Star Trek had nothing to do with my love for Star Wars, but a lot of people thought it did. Uh -huh. What about uh, Babylon 5? Oh, love it. Absolutely. Okay, I can leave, take your leave season five, but the first four seasons are brilliant. Yeah, favorite Actually, character. Bionic. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if you were going to do, like, maybe a mini series or, like, a couple of videos on on the religious aspect that Babylon 5 had in sci-fi that, like, other sci-fis did not. Because uh, Babylon 5 really dealt with religion more than any other sci-fi that I could really think of. Except Battlestar Galactica. It, it, just, it feels like the moment has already passed or something. I mean, granted, people would probably love to see a video about Babylon 5 just from any YouTube atheist. But um, I don't know. It just it feels like the moment's gone. Well, you've, always got, uh, you've also got the Galactica remake. Now, that was heavily into theism. Oh, I don't like the new... Yeah, she's, you she's could better. you could possibly even go with the old one then. Uh, the old one is is brilliant because it's freaking Mormons in space. I love that. <laughs> <It's hilarious. laughs> Isn't that originally what they were anyway? With the whole Jesus being born in the sky and all that fun stuff. Well, okay, maybe, but but this was clearly you know Mormons with spaceships. <laughs> yeah, it's like the end of History of the World Part One where they have Jews in space. Yeah. <laughs> the nice thing about it as well is that they had all the 12 tribes as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I could do like a religion and sci-fi video. Hell, I could do a whole 10, 20 minutes on just the Jedi alone, but uh, That's true. yeah, maybe. See, I never considered the Jedi in a religious aspect. I... I would concede them in a spiritual aspect, but not in a religious aspect. Well, they clearly have a certain kind of dogma. Yeah. I mean, the whole Padawan but thing. The spirituality and... itself can have dogma to it as well. That's I true. I suppose. I mean, I, I guess it depends on whether you think religion requires a deity or not. Mm. Uh, not really. Just look at Buddhism. All right. Yeah, and, uh, uh, you know, I even would go as far as to say a lot of fascist countries were just religions of, of political sort. I, I don't know. State-based state, state based religion. You think so, Violet? I, he I hesitate to say secular religion because that's almost a contradiction in terms. How about, uh, uh, like, non-spiritual religion, cult of personality kind of stuff? Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, it's funny because if you look into what cults are and what different religions are, a lot of these fascist states are, they have a lot of similarities in their ways of indoctrinating and uh, getting people to go on board. So, I don't know. Well, you know, um, back in college, I actually tried to start the first church of diversionism dedicated to having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I would have joined. Excellent. I would have joined the church. Yes. Yeah. But you don't really need to have a religion to indoctrinate someone. True. No, you don't. That's true. You know, just as you don't need to be religious to have dogma. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's uh, it's one of those things where it depends on what your tactics are and what your end goal is. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, well, it, well, violently. Um, um, Star Wars, they they weren't really set up on a pyramid scheme. Uh, true. I suppose. Well, I mean, they have the, the Jedi Council, which I guess kind of counts. Yeah, but each Jedi kind of went off and did their own thing mm -hmm. in their own ways, even though. That but they were answerable to the council. They were, like slaughtered and killed and like attacked. No, no, no. No, like if you read some uh, some of the books themselves, they actually um, tell you uh, 